Hi, this is Sahada. As part of setting up Entity Framework Code, we have done few things in our past few sessions. Like we have installed NuGet packages, then we have set up the model classes, then we have configured the DB context class, then we have configured the connection string. In our today's session, we are going to learn how to use DB context with dependency injection. This is our MVC application. Just a quick recap. Inside dependencies, you can find the NuGet packages that we have installed to work with Entity Framework Core. Here, tutorials is the model that we are going to work with. Then, inside the context folder, you can find tutorial DB context. This is the context class. Then, inside app settings.json, here we have defined the connection string. Now we know that we work with the instance of tutorial DB context to work with the database. The best thing is, ASP.NET Core Framework has built-in dependency injection container which can handle this job very much efficiently. It's not mandatory that you have to register DB context with dependency injection and use dependency injection in your application. This is the DB context class. When I say DB context, this is tutorial DB context in our application, which is deriving from DB context. If you don't want to go for dependency injection, then you can create the instance of tutorial DB context and use it in your application. However, if we go for dependency injection, then dependency injection container will take care of creation and lifecycle management of the instance and we can create loosely coupled application. Now I'll show you how to register DB context as a service with dependency injection container. Open program.cs. Here we register the DB context. We need connection string to register the service. Let's get the connection string. Here inside builder, we have this configuration and we have this get connection string method and we are passing the name of the connection string. Here tutorial DB connection is the name. You can verify this in app settings.json. Here tutorial DB connection is the name and we have used this name to get the connection string. Now we shall register the service. Let's say builder services here we have a method add db context you should pass the name of the db context class tutorial db context is the name of the context class let's specify the namespace now we have to pass the options this is inside microsoft.entity framework core this statement has registered tutorial db context as a service let's understand a little bit more about this statement here add db context method registers tutorial db context as a scoped service and sql server is used as a database and configuration information is read from the connection string scoped service in the sense the services are created once per request if you make another request another instance will be created now let's understand how to use this service with repository pattern. As part of repository pattern implementation, we have created this folder by name repository and here we have a interface by name iTutorial repository. Here we have one more class by name tutorial repository and this class is implementing this interface. Earlier we were working with the sample data. In today's session, I'm going to show you how to work with actual database. We know that we need the instance of tutorial DB context to work with the database and we have registered this and we have registered this as a service with dependency injection container. First thing is we are going to remove this code. Next, we are going to inject tutorial DB context so that dependency injection container will create the instance for us and it will also manage the lifecycle of that instance. First, let's change the field name. I'll use this import statement. Next, pass the parameter to this constructor. Let's assign this parameter to this private field. Now we can start to work with the database. We are not going to implement all the functionalities in today's session, but we are going to work on this get all tutorials. We are getting error here because we don't have tutorials anymore. Earlier, we were working with the sample data thus we had this tutorials list and we were returning that now we have the actual database instance now instead of this one we can return like this tutorials is of the type db set this will return all the records in the table 
The return type of this method is I enumerable. And this returns all the available records. This is the beauty and benefit of repository pattern. If you notice, uh, earlier we were using in-memory list as our data source. Now we have switched to actual database as our data source. With minimal code changes, we have switched the data source. This iTutorial repository service is used in the tutorial controller. We are using that dependency injection. Here we are injecting the dependency and we are calling this get all tutorial method and we are displaying the data in the index view. I have to do a small change instead of list it should be I enumerable. Let us save the changes and uh, try to run the application. This is our application. Let me click on tutorial. Ideally it should display tutorial data but it will throw error. See we have got error as expected. It says cannot open the database tutorial DB. The reason is we haven't created the database yet. We have to follow one more step to set up our entity framework code. We will see that in our next session. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.